What? What's up, guys? Are you ready to get pumped and become the most confident version of yourself in the next 10 minutes? Are you ready to learn the life hacks that will change your life completely so that you have rock, rock, rock solid confidence? Well, this video is probably not for you. Because in this video, I want to talk about some real life lessons that I have learned that have helped me to become a genuinely confident person deep down and to actually use that confidence in my business, in my personal relationships, and in life in general to become the person that I want to be. So if that's the kind of video that you're interested in watching, then hello, my friend. My name is Daniel Midson Short, and I'm excited to share some ideas with you today that hopefully will help you to become more confident deep down down in yourself to develop real confidence and to find that you can use that confidence in a way that actually improves your life over the long term. To start this video, I want to get rid of the concept that confidence is somehow this external thing that you display to the world. We've all seen through social media and movies and TV how people appear to be confident, but I believe a lot of the time that is an illusion. In fact, what we should be looking for is a sense of deep internal confidence, and that comes through one thing, and that is self-trust. In fact, I believe that the definition of being confident is that you have self-trust. If you trust yourself to get through the things you need to in life, if you know that you have the capabilities, you have the commitment, you have the skills, you have the experience, that is real confidence. Trying to act in a way with a lot of bravado or being loud and boisterous or trying to have a sort of a successful, confident image, that can be all well and good in the short term, but over the long term, that will fade away and people will begin to see through it. What matters is that you have a sense of self-trust that you know no matter what comes up in life, you can deal with it, you can get through it, and you can progress forward. So I wanted to share that idea right up front because I think that's the biggest danger in the world today is that we look for those little hacks and tricks and things that will help us to be confident when in fact we need to develop it over time. Confidence is something that grows and develops slowly the more you invest in yourself. So with that in mind, I want to share a couple of tips that I have learned that have drastically helped me to improve my confidence, particularly over the last 10 years of my life so that today I feel quite confident in who I am as a person. I like who I am and I feel like like no matter what, I can deal with the challenges that life throws at me. So my first tip for you to build real confidence is to focus on your physical health and presence. Now this might sound a little bit counterintuitive because I just said we should focus on feeling confident, self-trust inside. But very often our physicality has a lot to do with how we feel about ourselves. Our physical health and presence is actually an unconscious indicator of how much we value ourselves. And I know this firsthand. At times in my life I've let myself get really out of shape, I've been very lazy, I've eaten poorly, all those different things. And I've found that my self-confidence, my sense of self-trust starts to diminish very quickly. In the reverse, when I've spent time investing in myself, whether it's going to the gym, it's getting out for a walk every day, it's trying to eat healthier, taking supplements, getting better sleep, drinking more water, all the things that would improve my health, I found that they boost my sense of self-trust internally. The other part of this is your physical presence. Now, part of this will be your posture, the way you sit and stand, obviously, but a part of it also is the way that you carry yourself in normal life. I have found that just by focusing on my physical presence, Presence, making sure that I feel confident when I'm standing or when I'm walking, it starts to actually internalize. Now, this is not something that I can give you in two minutes in a video, but it's something that you should look at for yourself. Get a sense of your own physical presence. A lot of it will come from taking better care of your health, but over the long term, you want to focus on your physical presence as well. Now, that might be things like better grooming, better dress sense, learning to walk more confidently, stand and improve your posture. A couple of years ago, when I started to focus on my health, I started to do yoga and I found having more flexibility made me have better posture. And I found that that physical presence really helped me to feel a sense of internal confidence. So the reason I share this tip with you first is because it's probably the most simple way to start to develop real confidence is to focus on your physical health, improving yourself so you feel more confident and more self-trust physically. And then to focus Focus on your physical presence, grooming, dress sense, all those type of things. If you focus on those things and invest in them, you will find that over the long term, you actually feel more self-respect, self-value, and that leads to self-confidence. Tip number two that I have for you is not one that most people talk about, and that's why I wanted to share it in this video, and that is to develop your skills in life. If you think about the people that you know that you really respect, who seem quite confident in themselves, I guarantee you that they have some skill in life that you admire. They might be good in business, they might be 
be good in relationships. They might be a good speaker or a good musician or a good at sports or something like that. I guarantee you that they have some area of knowledge and expertise or a skill in life that you respect and admire. And the fact that they have developed that skill to a high level gives them a sense of self-confidence because they know they can use that skill in their life whenever they need to. If you're young and just getting started in life, you don't have a lot of skills developed yet. You might have some talents, but you don't have any particular skills. So over time, as you develop your skills in life, you will find that they will start to build your sense of self-confidence. I found this in my own life when I started doing public speaking several years ago. I was never a very confident person speaking in front of groups, so I forced myself to go to a Toastmasters meeting and start to practice speaking in front of other people. And I found that over time, as I developed that skill, I started to feel more self-trust, more confidence in myself, that if I had to get up in front of a group and present or share ideas or try to persuade people, I had that skill and ability. You probably have the same thing in your life. It might be something as simple as cooking or driving or playing a musical instrument. There's something in your life that you feel quite confident that you can do. You already have that skill. So what I would suggest is focus on other skills that you would like to develop in your own life and build those over time. Take five or 10 years and develop that skill to a world-class level. And what you'll find is that the self-confidence, the self-trust that comes with it will be immense. You will find that you're a very different person and people will look at you differently and they'll respect you more because of the skills that you've developed in life. Tip number three is to tune into your purpose. If you think about the people that you really admire in your life, they are the people who have their own path or purpose. They're the people who are going in a certain direction in their life. They know what they're trying to do and they're on the road to doing it. That gives them a sense of self-trust and internal confidence. It's different to bravado and bluster and acting like you know what you're doing. There's a sense of calm purpose in them that helps them to drive forward. You see this in people who are very spiritual, for example. If they have a strong sense of their faith, you'll find that that gives them a sense of calm and confidence. You also see it in people who have a big goal in their life, whether it's in business or in a sport or in some sort of charity or something like that. Those type of people who are trying to achieve something bigger in their life, who have a sense of purpose, also have a sense of self-confidence, of self-trust, because they're driven and they're tuned into their purpose. And that gives them a different sense than most people out there. Unfortunately, most of the world, most people that we know are quite purposeless. And if you've ever felt like that in your life, you notice that not having a purpose does tend to diminish your self-confidence. So what I would say is take the time to really think about what your life purpose is and tune into that, develop that over time and trust in it and follow it. And it will develop that deep sense of self-confidence. And the last thing I want to say to you is that building self-confidence takes time. I truly didn't feel confident in myself, didn't have that sense of self-trust until I was probably about 38 years old in my life because it took me that long to build my skills, build my sense of health and physical presence and also tune into my purpose. And all those things started to compound and the confidence just emerged as a result. You can't really seek confidence directly. You can try to trick people and hack it and act a certain way, but people can tell when you have deep down self-confidence because you feel it internally. And as I said, it took me until my late thirties to actually find it for myself. I spent a lot of years trying to pretend I was confident, but it wasn't until I actually tuned into these deeper things that I've just talked Talked about that I started to find that sense of self-trust and confidence in my life. So I would suggest the same for you. Invest in yourself. Realize that building real confidence takes a long time. It's okay if you're not there just yet, but keep at it. Keep investing in yourself. Keep finding ways to develop that sense of self-trust and competence deep down, and you will eventually emerge with a sense of deep self-confidence. You know, the world really does take us at our assessment of ourselves, meaning that the more you value yourself, the more the world and people around you will value you. So take the time to invest in yourself, to develop yourself and be patient and let your natural confidence, the true confidence of you, the self-trust start to emerge on its own. It is inside of you already and it just takes time to develop. My friend, I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please leave a like and leave a comment below sharing ideas that you've learned about developing real self-confidence in your life. And please consider becoming a subscriber to this channel. We'd love to have you as part of our community. My name is Daniel Mitzenshort. Thanks as always for watching and thank you for improving yourself. What's up guys? Are you ready to get pumped? Are you ready to get confident? Are you ready to find out the secrets to being the most confident <laughs>
<laughs> Man, I can't even do it. Forget it. <laughs>